hope you're comfortable and I hope you're ready to hear about what I'm about to say. I feel like I've been holding back for such a long time. I have gone through some experiences. You know, I definitely need to share this because before I moved to Vancouver, I looked for a lot of content on YouTube, on Instagram, on TikTok, just trying to find out what life is like here in Vancouver. I came across a particular video and I will link that video up over here. This video, the ladies brought the vibe, they gave the energy, and I really appreciated that there were people out there that shared their experiences and kind of gave me an idea of what I could expect from Vancouver. But unfortunately, when I got here, it was not it. Certain things that, you know, had changed would like to update those things. When I got to a point where I was ready to share with my friends, where I was moving to when I had mentioned Vancouver or British Columbia, you could sort of get the sense that they had no idea where this was. I mean, a lot of them would come back and say, oh, Colombia. And I'm like, no, British Columbia. That's when you already know, sis, they have no idea <laughs> where you're going. And there could be a little bit of a concern in terms of like, sis, are you sure you know where you're going? Are you sure this place is safe? Why have we not heard about this place? So let me show you quickly where Vancouver is relative to places on the earth. Looking at the globe on my iPad, firstly, I'd love to show you where I moved from. It is a city called Cape Town. It is in South Africa, Southern Africa, yes. And I stayed in a suburb called Rondebosch. It's very green so many outdoor activities to do in the area if we zoom out just a little bit i'd love to show you where canada is from africa as a whole i've noticed how common it is that when people mention canada they can only think of toronto so i just want to show you where toronto is it is on the east side of canada and it is about a 40 hour drive from Vancouver. That's about 4,200 kilometers. It's a four and a half hour flight. So please, no one is about to pull up within a few hours. I can't just show up in a second. No one can. Relax, come to Vancouver instead. Vancouver is a major city in Western Canada. It's located in the lower mainland region of British Columbia. As the most populous city in the province, the Greater Vancouver area had a population of 2.6 million in 2021, making it the third largest metropolitan area in Canada. Now that you know where Vancouver is on the map, I want to talk about demographics. Yes, there are black people in Vancouver and I don't know what it feels like to be one of the few black people in Vancouver because there are many black people in Vancouver. I could literally go out right now and walk a few blocks and I would have, you know, passed by maybe five to six black people. It's not that deep, guys. <laughs> Relax, it's not that deep. The majority of people here are white Canadians and Chinese people, right? There's also Filipino, there's South Asians here as well. And then there's, you know, there's a, a few black people, but it's not significantly low, you know? Uh, there's a lot of Nigerian people, there's a lot of Kenyan people, there's people from Rwanda here as well. Those are the main groups that I would frequently come across here in Vancouver when it comes to black people. My friend, Linda, she's from Swaziland, South African culture and um, Swa Swaziland culture, Swati culture is very similar and I feel like we just vibe really well. Um, I do also know black people that are from Toronto and they've moved to this side. So here's the thing, don't be ignorant and don't be one of those people where you 
automatically assume that all black people are from Africa. They are black people from Canada, they are black people from America, they are black people from Europe, they are black people from all over the world, right? I mean, if you ask them what their ethnicity is, that's a different question. If you ask them where they're from and someone says, hey, I'm from Canada, and you look at them and they're black and you're like, Yes, yeah, you don't look like you're from Canada. It's the same thing as when there's white people from South Africa and they would say, I'm from South Africa. And people would look at them twice like, oh, I, only, I thought there's only black people from Africa. We need to st like get away with that mentality. Like seriously, it's getting old now. It is so stale. Let's move on. So there is racism here in Vancouver, unfortunately. I've experienced it a couple of times, but not too many times. Um, it's just the odd person now and then that, you know, just happens to not like black people. My sister does experience it more frequently than I do. Um, I know that the last time it, it happened when she was waiting for a bus, and bus drivers drive past my sister quite frequently, especially when she has her natural hair out, when she has her fro, her beautiful fro out, um, they kind of just don't stop. I know that it happened to her and I, we were once on our way to the mall nearby, and bus driver just didn't stop. She didn't stop us, but she stopped for the person that was at the next bus stop. The bus stop wasn't too far from us, so we saw that. So there is racism here in Vancouver and prepare yourself for it, but don't be one of those people that reacts. But what are the social vibes like here in Vancouver? Firstly, I just want to talk about your social circle. Yes, people are correct by saying that making long-term friends here in Vancouver is a little bit of a challenge. However, it's something that I implore you to take on. You can use dating apps, I know crazy but you can actually use dating apps to make friends to find friends you can go to certain um, events events that you most likely like or concerts where artists that you enjoy listening to or interacting with are going to perform because those are the type of environments that you're most likely to find people that are similar um, to you don't force it Please don't. There are so many lonely people out here and you are going to be lonely for a couple of months. However, if it's meant to be, it will be sis. Relax. Don't do the most, but also put yourself out there. Please. Because how are we going to find you if you don't put yourself out there, right? Um, there are bars, there are pubs, there are clubs, <laughs> there are amazing restaurants here in Vancouver. There's so much to do here in Vancouver. Don't close your mind off and just think that it's this icy, this snowy, this windy or rainy and wet place that you're moving to. It is so pretty. I could literally just show you a video right now of what it is that I'm looking at and how beautiful it is today. Check me out on Instagram if you're looking for inspiration on things to do in British Columbia. I am so happy to share my experience with you. You see, expect that for summer Vancouver. It's not that bad, relax. Okay, so I want to speak on dating in Vancouver. It's a little bit of a tricky one because you get a lot of weirdos out here and firstly be comfortable with going on a couple of first dates be comfortable with letting someone know that you are not interested don't try and force anything and when you do get here don't jump straight into dating take some time to know your environment take some time to be with yourself Take some time to figure out who you are in this new beautiful city. Take some time out to figure out what it is that you like doing here in Vancouver. Some of the things that you did back home might not be the same things that are available here. So that's where you need to make a decision. That's where you need to go out there, figure out what it is, what is available here and try it out. Just don't be inviting people into your home until you know the type of person that they are. Girl, it's Vancouver, it's safer than certain places, but it's not that safe. Things happen here as well. Okay, so that's all I have on Vancouver 
for today. Um, I feel like I'll share more personal experiences on my next video. There's laughable things that has happened. There's certain places that I have visited that are not only in Vancouver and that's something that I really want to talk about. So I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know in the comment section what you've thought of this video. Let me know if there's any specific things that you would love me to address as well. I've got a couple of shorts that I do post on YouTube. Check me out. I'm there. I'm ready for you. I am ready to share some stuff. Let's go.